I was fortunate enough to go to space twice. The first time in uh, 2005, that was on the American Space Shuttle. Actually, the assignment was done in 2001 when Mr. Golding was still a NASA administrator, and he gave me the check off uh, to go to space. So it's uh, one small stamp for Golding, one giant leap for the <laughs> secret agent man. My flight has a direct connection to Einstein, actually to Israel. Uh, my flight was right after the Columbia accident happened in 2003, uh, which uh, Ilan Lamont was on board. And I still remember the night before we sent him off to uh, Kennedy Space Center, we met him in the hallway and, hey, Ilan, how's it doing? And he said, business as usual. And I said, yeah, I'm right behind you. That was the last moment. But we didn't stop there. Uh, we spent more than two, two and a half years preparing how to make the shuttle better, uh, faster, and cheaper, like Mr. Gordon said. <laughs> and my second mission was uh, 2010. This time I switched gear to to Russian side. I flew on the, on the Soyuz. Uh, it's an international mission. The one Russian, one American, and one uh, secret agent man was <laughs> on board. But if I was asked what's the most important thing, about the space flight is, is the network. Not that I tried to connect my cell phone in from the space station, but that network of the people, network with, with children. So that's why I spend a lot of time uh, talking to the, the school kids, uh, especially among Asian countries. And about this network, uh, the, that's the main reason I am here. Because about two years ago, uh, Einstein Legacy Project came up to me about this wonderful vision, the, the printing, the space books. And uh, at that time, uh, when I was, I was still active astronaut, so I know all the uh, technical uh, uh, aspect of a space station, I know right off the bat this is technically possible. But I don't know if it's politically you know, or financially possible because you know, printing out 100 pages of a book requires you know, hundreds of thousands of paperwork on the ground. But uh, luckily, with the help of our friends, space explorers, by the way, the, our uh, fellow astronaut Chris Hartfield was the president of our association. We have lots of legends, including Chris Hartfield. But uh, I like uh, uh, Alexei Leonov. Uh, he did the first uh, spacewalk back in 1965, uh, even before I was born. My spacewalk happened in 2005, so it's almost uh, 40 years apart, but we uh, still can talk about all the techniques. And uh, two years ago, during our annual Congress, Association of Space Explorers, uh, uh, me as being a president, I was uh, fortunate enough to present him a special uh, replica of a spacesuit glove to him and we made a kind of a semi-centennial handshake of a space walkers. <laughs> and it's nothing compared to the hundred years of uh, uh, the visions of Einstein, but uh, we will continue our dreams. And if somebody asks me what's my vision for the next hundred years, I will be proud to say the future is in our hands. Thank you very much. <laughs>